What's going on, everybody? Crazy Dog back with another Browns video for you guys. And I've got some coaching news to talk about. As early this morning, according to Josina Anderson, and I quote, I'm told the Browns have parted ways with special teams coordinator Mike Prefer, her league source. And as you see, the tweet was posted at 8.19 a.m. So yeah, Browns woke up early this morning and took care of some business that needed to be taken care of. And to be honest with you guys, I was beginning to think that Prefer was going to be back for another year. But I'm glad Andrew Barry and company realized that that can't happen. They needed to make a change, and they did. Now, as far as potential replacements for Prefer, uh, Tom Palacero uh, had this to say about potential top candidate for the job. And I quote, The Browns requested an interview with Colts special teams coordinator Bubba Ventrone, who is considered a top candidate for the same job in Cleveland per sources. Now, if that name rings a bell to any OG Browns fans, this is why. A former Browns special teams ace, Ventrone has led one of the NFL's top units in Indianapolis. Oh yeah, if we bring in Ventrone, that would be one, a great story, and two, that'd be an upgrade, big time. That would be a huge upgrade. I mean, if you watch the Colts special teams units with Ventrone, like Tom said, they've been really good. And maybe Ventrone, who of course played special teams for the Browns, that was his thing, pretty much. He didn't really play much defense with us. He was a special teamer, so obviously he knows the unit well, <laughs> right? He knows how to perform as a special teamer. So uh, I think he could really help out Cade York. And uh, maybe our special teams return game would be even better. Now, last year we did get a punt return out of DPJ. But if you guys remember, we originally signed Jakeem Grant to be our returner, but he got hurt. So we'll see what happens with him. I have a feeling that uh, he's probably going to be a goner, which sucks, but maybe with a new special teams coordinator, maybe they give him a chance. Although coming off an injury as serious as his, I don't know. I just don't know what his status is with the team. Most likely though, he's probably going to be one of those cuts that are made to make room for somebody, but we'll see though. We'll see what they do. Got a lot of tough decisions to make over the next couple of weeks as a free agency is getting closer. Man, I would love Ventrone as our new special teams coach. Now you look at his resume. As you can see, he did bounce around a little bit as a player. But as a coach, he started off with the New England Patriots as an assistant special teams coach. And then he went to the Colts to be their special teams coordinator. And he's been there ever since. And Obviously, as Tom said, they've had one of the top special teams units in Indianapolis. So that's nice to see. I would love to bring him in. Now, uh, Adam Schefter also brought up another potential candidate. As he tweeted this out a little bit ago. And I quote, Cleveland Browns have requested permission to interview New York Giants assistant special teams coordinator Anthony Blevins for their special teams coordinator job. Blevins had stints with the Cardinals prior to his job with the Giants, and he interviewed with the Broncos for their special teams coordinator position. So yeah, he's a, a guy that has been sought after. And you look at his resume, yeah, it's a long one, mainly in college. As you can see, uh, he did play a little bit as a player, not in the NFL though, with the Birmingham Steel Dogs and the Birmingham Thunderbolts the heck kind of league was he in that seems like an like independent football league like freaking xfl type thing i don't know what the heck league that was my goodness <laughs> but as a coach he started off in high school with meadow creek high as a secondary coach then he went to mississippi state for a couple of seasons as a grad assistant went to ut martin for a season as a cornerbacks coach then he went to Tennessee State for a couple seasons to be the special teams coordinator and cornerbacks coach. Interesting combo there. Then he went to UAB before the program was, of course, dissolved for a couple seasons, but they are back, of course, uh, as a cornerbacks coach. Then he made his way to the NFL, first with the Arizona Cardinals as an assistant special teams coach. Then he did the same with the Giants, and he's been there ever since. As an assistant special teams coach, assistant defensive backs coach, then assistant linebackers coach, and special teams assistant. 
And then, most recently, an assistant special teams coach. So, yeah. He uh, definitely specializes in special teams. Personally, I would still go with Ventrone. But Blevins wouldn't be a bad idea either. He wouldn't be a bad option. Not at all. Now, before I wrap up this video, I actually do have some more uh, coaching news to talk about. As, according to Ian Rappaport, and I quote, the Browns are expected to hire Ephraim Banda as their safeties coach, source said. Banda is currently the defensive coordinator at Utah State and spent time at Mississippi State and Miami before that. Now we look at Banda's resume. Obviously not as long as Blevins's, but he's been around a little bit as a coach. Started at Incarnate Word, where he actually played football as a safety for a couple years. That's nice. Then he went to Texas as a grad assistant, I believe. And then 2015, went to Mississippi State. Then to Miami for a couple seasons. And then, of course, he went to Utah State. So, not a bad option. We'll see what he can do with our safeties. Because if you watched our safeties, especially last year, you know, JJ3, Delpit, Harrison, even DeAnthony Bell. There's been some good. And there's definitely been some bad. Yeah. There's been, there was some bad last year at our safety spot. Mainly with JJ3 sandbagging. But Delpit, he, uh, he really took off in the second half. Ronnie Harrison, I barely heard his name at all. So, yeah, we're definitely going to be making some changes at the safeties position this year. It'll be interesting to see what we do with JJ3 and Ronnie. Ronnie's probably gone anyway. He was a free agent. He's a free agent this year, so he's gone. We're not bringing him back again. I don't even know why we brought him back to begin with. You know, he was really, really good the one season, his first season here in 2020. And then 2021, mm -hmm. and it's been like that ever since. But maybe, you know, Bando will uh, rejuvenate the safety position for the Browns because uh, if we go out and address this position in free agency, we could have a really good unit with Delpit and then maybe JJ3. Maybe we add another safety somewhere. There you go. But we'll see what Banda can do with this unit. Of course, Jim Schwartz making some changes. And uh, yeah, for a while there, I thought Jim Schwartz was just going to run it back with everyone as is. But no, we can't. Because uh, in case you guys have been living under a rock for the past couple weeks, Jeff Howard and Chris Kiffin both took jobs elsewhere. So we got to fill a D-line coach position as well as, I believe... Our secondary coach position still. Because Banda's going to be our safeties coach. So we still need two positions to fill on defense. As well as our QB coach on offense. So there's going to be more of these kind of videos coming up. But uh, yeah, we'll see what else uh, we cook up. When it comes to coaching. Again, we still got three holes to fill. We'll see who we bring in to fill those holes. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. And then, of course, special teams coach. We'll see who we bring in to be our coordinator there. I hope it's Ventrone. That'd be lit. But let me know what you guys think of these moves. You know, and, uh, yeah. Whenever there's any more Browns news, you already know I'll make a video about it. So, with that being said, I'm Crazy Dog. Let's go, Browns. And I'm out.